Avengers. Because I mean, right, groups so. wasn't even popping then. That's when groups yeah. was falling off. So yes, yeah, literally when groups were starting to like. Right. We need to reevaluate the term super group. <laughs> ah. Yeah, because new addition is the group. new addition is the the no the, the top <laughs> super group. Oh, they, they're, they're trying to come back right now. Twenty uh, is a twenty twenty. They are trying to reform right now. Uh, Who? Blaze. Blaze super group that never was. No. Mm -mm. We have keep to keep that to yourself. Super group. <laughs> this is a gang of niggas <laughs> <laughs> and one loud nigga. <laughs> And then you got that oh, one other dude at home in the back, like, no, why are we doing this? You talking about Lil G? Yeah, that yeah. loud boy, that dude loud. Oh, Lil G, that's... <laughs> oh, that boy God. loud. He can sing, You're but he loud. Uh -huh. Hey, there's only one super group, but that's TGT. I'm just joking. I'm... <laughs> no. I mean, they're number two hey. on LSG. LSG. Hey. LSG. LSG was a super group. Oh, that was a super group. That's a super group. I yeah. mean, low key, they said they was going back in the studio before Gerald passed away. Before like they were doing another album. Yeah, that is actually true. That because um yeah um Tyrese said it in the interview. Oh no 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 um not Tyrese uh Jenny Wine said it in the interview. Oh, they going. That back they were actually the going back and the, they was actually going back and then he ended up passing away. Yeah. That's literally what happened. Dang. So he was supposed to, and then. Yeah, I bodyguard people, and they tell me stuff. <laughs> so you know what, them cats would have been to make so much bread right now. With the yeah. LSG tour. They would be Charlie Wilson out there just touring every summer with Keith Sweat, Gerald LeVert, and Johnny Gill. Johnny Gill would not have got back to New Edition. He wouldn't have got back to New Edition. No, he wouldn't have. He'd have been able to do this. Or, well, the even at the New Edition concert, they do some LSG stuff. and yeah. I've, they, they do? But Keith, Keith Sweat do most Keith does of it. it so. Oh, okay. I would come wow. out and do it with him, or you know, whatever. So it would, but it would have been amazing to be able to do at a, a concert, really have an LSG set. Mm, yeah. And if well, and here's a question though: if you, well, you don't get paid. Like you, everybody gets their share, right? So the thing with the new edition, you know, everybody get their share. But yeah. if BBD performs, if Ronnie DeVoe performs with New Edition and with BBD, does he get two checks? You just get one. That's a good question. I'm gonna say that they get two separate checks. Yeah. For Am what I, I have. I mean, is this a festival? Am I on two different stages? Ah. Because <laughs> if What's I leave you? that stage and, and, and get on that little set? part, I'm just, golf I'm just, cart, I'm just, I'm just on tour. Stage. That's another so, check. I'm just on tour. So this is uh, whoever's opening. For, so let's say we can do the new edition tour right this right now. It's going. Okay. So Tank opens up. Guy comes out. And then after that comes out, Keith New Sweat. Edition comes out. Right, well, Keith Sweat comes Keith out. Sweat. And then New Edition comes out. And then in, within New Edition, BBD performs, Johnny Gill performs, Bobby performs, Bar Trap. Yeah, so everybody yeah. gets to perform and do everything. But you throw in there, you take Guy out. You can literally just take Guy out, oh, if you want to. And you can do an LSD set. Damn. Like, that, that's not a shade thing with Guy. It's just a to keep it going, to just be like, okay, like now we just got. Uh, the LSG do a little set, but eh, I mean, how many Why songs? Why they get the Gerald LeVert hologram? I'm surprised. You know what? <laughs> what was Facey Facey, Facey. Facey. What was his fans called? What, with the teddy bears? What, teddy bear. That, that was they, the, the, his fans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What kills me is uh, Kim Whitley talking about Gerald LeVert and how they were, you know, they were together when he died. And there's Gerald a, was a lot, a lot of women. He it's a lot of women. Yeah, that yeah, Monique. Well, well Monique according Howard. to Kim Whitley, I'm sorry, he was with Monique. According to Kim Whitley, the only reason that her and Gerald LeVert did not get married is because he died. Who? Kim Whitley. Kim Whitley. That's what she said. There's. there's that's what she said. She is the interview where she says it. She's like, the only reason me and Gerald did not get married is because he died. Wow. So apparently she was with him, like that was officially the last girlfriend that he was with. Now I can't say unofficial. He was with Candy Burris? That's what it says on on his on his Wikipedia. Hey man, Gerald was hey Gerald was Gerald's in the streets. <laughs> yeah, Nikki, <laughs> Nikki Howard. Yeah, Nikki yeah. Howard three or four years. Hey. Yeah. Man, man, Gerald was putting in work. He's I ain't like, man. He said, man, I only got so much time left on this world. He's like, <laughs> he's like you know, the rude boys, that's really uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to say it. <laughs> hey, look. Take it to the bridge. To the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I 
always That's my favorite part. Song as a kid. You he overshadowed his own group on their first single. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why you smoking like that, man? Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> that out. man was the greatest hype man ever, right? <laughs> Immediately. So it does feel like it's his song. So it's like Jerry Levert featuring. Hey, I bet you uh, Eddie was there when they was recording. He was like, man, you better go in there and show him how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> You better say it with your chest. No, because if you actually hear the no, if you hear that Rude Boy song, not to be funny, they do sound hella Tim. They and no, that's all they sound. And then here comes Gerald. And that's exactly what Eddie does on Forever Mine. Yes. Yes. It's in the bloodline. Yes. Exactly. Hey, Gerald Levert in my top 10. I'm sorry. <laughs> mellow, and then here come Eddie screaming at you. <laughs> he even changes to keep up with it. Because Eddie he, about to scream at you. And it's not like, to be funny, don't he don't even do that to start way to heaven. You don't have uh, to yeah. at me to get my yeah, love. I'm already here. I can hear you. <laughs> you don't have to scream at me. He's like, no. Nah. <laughs> You're gonna get, oh my God. You're gonna get all of it. You're gonna get all of this love. And it's like I'm gonna mess around. I'm gonna be on stage doing the Gerald Levert songs, uh singing funny. Uh <laughs> <laughs> why not? That's showmanship. Hey, it's, show. it's called stage and you gotta pull the rag show. out your pocket and wipe it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wear an old S curl. <laughs> it's called stage presence. Oh my god. Up. <laughs> My favorite memory of Eddie, though, was when uh, Michael Jackson died. When he was like, yeah, and I saw Michael dancing and shit, and they didn't cut it on BET. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if that boy ain't all our uncle, I swear for God. <laughs> Gerald LeBert was everybody's uncle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how do y'all think he'd be, y'all think he'd be thriving right now still? Oh, yeah. I think that uh yeah, yeah. you know he found Trey Songs. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yep. He, he found it. look it up. He found Trey yep. Songs. He was in that first video. The, yeah, just gotta make it. Yep. Yeah. Wow. He found Trey Song. He found uh, actually a bunch of cats and then did a whole lot of songwriting and background. Yeah, so he did a lot of stuff. That's probably that's exactly what he'd be doing. Like, and even if he wasn't consistently touring, there would be tours. Because I didn't realize how young and, he was when he died. He was oh, probably, he was hella young. Yeah, because he, he'll he still be in his late 40s, early 50s now. Uh, maybe yeah. his early 50s, probably. Yeah, early I think 50s. early 50s, he would have, yeah. he put it, yeah. I think yeah. he would have been like 52. Yeah. So he'd, be 50, he'd be 57. Yeah. 57, oh, okay, I'm all the way off. <laughs> he died at 40, he died at 40. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, was, I knew he was pretty young when he passed. Yeah, yeah. yeah those Mother's Day jams that they be having, he'd be on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll, you he'll, know what? He'll be at the same for 10 years. If you could, look, Joe, if you could just point to the lie on the screen. Just point, point to, to, point to, the, lie. Point to the lie. Can you just point to the lie on the screen? Oh, it's because it's not there. <laughs> oh, my God. Mother's Day jam. <laughs> the Valentine's Day jam. Yeah. Man. Yep. Yeah. Oh, don't let it be a it, festival. 14th caller and get them tickets. Mm-hmm. He'd have had one of he'd have, you know remember them Budweiser festivals back in the yeah. day. That would have been Gerald all the way back. <laughs> Gerald and Mary J. Blige, man, <laughs> it'd be an auntie and uncle fest. Hey, hey, some of the best sandals you could ever see. Come on now, shoot, <laughs> shoot. And I'd have been right out there with. I remember going to the Budweiser Super Fest with my daddy. Like, man, he's why I'm. Oh, I'm the youngest I, cat here. <laughs> they found, I found a website that did every lineup of the Budweiser Superfest from 1980 to 2001 and listed Ooh. out. The only year they got missing, the year they got missing is 96. 96. So like, it's, it's for DC, so I, you know it changes up sometimes city to city. Yeah, but at least it's a good framework of like the main headline artists. Right. Yeah. Where, where's the one that I found? The one that, that's the Budweiser, the one that was in St. Louis, the one that my mama went to. The like, one. That, I, the that one that ended at like right. five. In yeah, the was, yeah, the one that ended at five in the morning. Stevie ain't go on until five. Yeah. <laughs> wonder, yeah. Stevie didn't go on until five. So, Joe, this is not yeah. this is not an exaggeration. Well, he, yeah, he didn't get off it's, till five. Yeah. yeah, essentially, you have to find someone who uh, uh whoever like, was there was it 81, so 82? You somebody who was there, right? So it was like I think it was like 82, something like that. So yeah. um <laughs> Superfest went on, right? So it's got all of the top acts. Tickets was like 750. 
Like, I mean, the 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 people that were there and the price of the ticket is just insane, right? It was but, at Bush yeah. Stadium, wasn't it? It was mm -hmm. at Bush, it was at, it was at the old Bush Stadium. <laughs> mm -hmm. Last time black folks was allowed up in there, write that down. So yeah. what's going on? Everybody is jamming. Samantha's mama was on the east side waiting on the after party to start. Shit, and it never happened because the party went the on. The concert was still going. My mama tell you that Stevie did not go on. Hey, this cool ass Scott from the I Love 90s Music Podcast. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like it on the SOLC Network. You finna get all the real deal on the 90s, the 2000s, and the splash of that 80s. Do it right now, man. And I'll be your friend.